That's a base hit to right. Cargo to the baseball quickly. Tomas does not run well. They're sending him. Here's the throw to the plate. Did he hold on? Out at the plate. Tony Walters held on to the baseball, and Cargo cut him down. Matt Williams sent Tomas. And Cargo made him pay. I think Chip Hale's going to come out and talk about where Tony was positioned. But when that ball was hit to Cargo, and I looked down and saw Matt Williams waving him in, I said, are you serious? You're going to run because he picks up the ball, and he's not even to third base yet. No, that's perfectly legal. And yeah. listen, I understand. In this day and age, it's it's standard operating procedure. You're going to go out and say, well, was he blocking the play? He's receiving the baseball. He has that's a right the, to go get the baseball. That's a great job by Tony Walters. And, and, and for Tony, I like where he went first and then came back to catch the ball. The, the ball took him that way. Great. In the overhead. Got him the first time. He comes back to apply the tag the second time, but he had already tagged him out. Here's what, and they're going to look at it. Here's what I thought was terrific by Tony. His ability to hold on to it because the, the feet hit the glove or looked like he hit the glove pretty hard. Tony was able to hold on. Too. His left foot comes up and, and kicks the backside of the glove. Headsets uh, mixed up. He has a right to go and field the baseball. Because that's where the ball took him. He wasn't right. set up there. He was set up in fair territory in front of the plate, and they came back as the ball was going that direction. I'm surprised it's taken this long. Still out. So Cargo keeps this game scoreless with his second outfield assist of the year. No run on that arm. And not with Tomas running. He was not the third. That ball was hit sharply. And the other thing. The accuracy from Cargo. Easy ball for Tony to catch. It wasn't an in-between hop. He gave him that nice long hop.